Hello everyone, this video is meant for a student who is preparing to write IGCSE Mathematics Examination and a teacher who is preparing students for the same examination. Kindly follow my series of videos on preparation for Easter in math. I only focus on some topics when I'm done with the IGCSE Mathematics syllabus and I drill the students very well. So let's look into the topics. The first one is translation, vector, matrices, scale drawing and bearing, set and Venn diagram, probability, statistics, sequence, function, Approximation, estimate, and bounds. Coordinate geometry. Perimeter, area, and volume of shapes. Similarity and congruence. Angle properties. Sine and cosine rules. Graph of a curve. Equations. Inequalities. Household finance. Graph of trigonometric functions, differentiation, and its application. These are the basic topics I drill them on, and it has been helping them seriously. So after that, I engage them with practice session. So the practice session will be the same document I served with them in the classroom. So I just have to um prepare it for them to serve as um revision to refresh their memory okay. for them to understand what they've learned in the lesson so after that i'll um, subject them to a uh, checkup so the checkup is a document that uh, contains some igcse mathematics questions based on the topic i just completed with them just for them to uh, show their better understanding of the topic by seeing a different question. So after that, I give them some examination tips. Um, the first thing is to revise and rest very well a day before the examination. Then, um, a kind of little refreshment on the exam day. That is, you have to eat a light food probably some snacks and, and juice. Next, take, take a look, look at the question for five minutes. This is very important for organization. So it helps you plan the order of attempting the questions. By the time you spend five minutes, so you would have seen the questions that are very easy, the ones that will take your time and uh, so on and so forth. So for that reason, you have to start with the questions that uh, seem um, very easy for you, okay? So as to have enough time to finish your examination. Then next, you save your time with use uh, with uh, your calculator. By using calculator, it helps a lot. So you have to understand the functions uh, on your calculator, okay? It helps you uh, save time and uh, you can easily finish on time, okay? So. Uh, unless you are asked to show your working, okay, so that is when you don't actually make use of your calculator. Even though you are asked to show your working, there are some expressions that you still need to uh, input into your calculator to make your work easier. Then, uh, when you are dealing with angles, always try to correct the angle to one decimal place. And when you are dealing with length or distance, so always leave your answer correct to three significant figures then after that i subject them to mock examinations so here uh the full assessment on papers one and two will be conducted for them so this is just to check how ready they are for the main examination and at times um they do more than uh one mock examination at times two or three so this will tell us how ready uh, they are and with that I can forecast what 
they can get at the end of the examination so, so to support you guys i'll be making a series of videos on the aforementioned topics at the end of each video you are going to see two documents if you check the comment and description sections below the video you will see a document named practice okay and that is um, a document that contains the same questions i solved in that video this is just uh, to allow you to refresh your memory okay to practice very well so that you can retain the uh, what you have learned in the video and the second one is called check up so this contains um, some IGCSE questions okay so it's meant for you uh, to attempt I'll be uploading a new video every 72 hours in the same format so always check the playlist frequently the first video titled all IGCSE questions on transformation in 2018 is available on my YouTube channel just check the playlist and um, see the video. I wish you a happy learning.